brought a deck of cards. We'll remove the cards from the box. I'm going to shuffle the cards. And then what I'm going to do, are you comfortable if I ask you to select a card? Are you okay with that? Very good. Because here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to ask you, please, just to stay, say stop at any time. Very good. Now, please, when we stop that card, don't look at it. Just save it to the table, okay? Now, we'll take the rest of the cards, thoroughly mixed, okay? And what I'm going to do is hand the deck out to members. And I'm going to ask you all, when I hand you the deck, to place it flat in your hand. And then I'm going to ask you just to lift up and take a peek, okay, at a card and let it drop back down. So it'll go flat into your hand, you'll just lift up, look at a card, drop it, and then stand up and hand me back the deck, okay? So may I hand you the deck? And I'm going to ask you, please, crack it open, look at a card. Once you've got it, just remember it. I'll have you hand me back the pack. I'll ask you to stand up, please. And then, and I hope it's okay I'm going on the ends because it makes it so much easier, okay? May I ask you to take the pack and just crack it open, look at a card, remember it, and then stand up, okay? Very good. And then, may I hand you the pack. I'm going to ask you please, crack it open, look at a card, remember it, and then stand up. Take the pack back. Thank you. And then, may I hand you the pack and ask you to do the same. Crack it open, look at a card, remember it, and then I'll have you stand up. And you've got it. Very good. Okay. Now, uh, here, here we go. I have some books, okay? And I'm hoping that uh, those of you who are comfortable with your vision, and I'll ask you because I don't want anyone, I don't want to embarrass anyone at all. Um, may I, first of all, set this book here, I'm just gonna have you say, please stop on any page. Okay, are you satisfied with that page? Yes. Okay, have you look at the first word at the top of that page and just remember that, okay? Very good. Now, this is the collection of all the Sherlock Holmes writings. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hand this out to four different people and I'm going to ask you just to open the book anywhere you want. Go down the page and please look for a word that catches your attention. Please, for today's purposes, a big word. A long word, okay? <laughs> the biggest word that you find on that page because that will make this the most interesting. Please do not look at the top line, do not look at the bottom line, and please don't memorize a name because it'll either be Holmes or Watson. So <laughs> not the top line, not the bottom line, somewhere in the body. May I hand you the book and I'm going to ask you please just to go through, find a page that you like, and then go through and find a long word. Somewhere in the body of the page, find a long word, most letters, most syllables, and once you've got it, please remember it, close the book, hand it back to me, and I'll have you stand up. Okay? You're doing great. <laughs> Are you okay? If you got it, okay, good. Now, I'm going to take the book, and may I? I'm going to come up this way. Well, you've already, you've got a word. And you've got a card. And may I do this? May I hand you the book? And I just want you to go through. And what I'm going to ask you to do is please, uh, not the top line, not the bottom line, not a name. Just find a word, long word, remember it, and then close the book and then just hand it back. Got it? You've got your word. I'll have you stand up. And then, let's see, may I hand you the book and ask you to do the same. Not the top line, not the bottom line. Please open uh, anywhere you want and then go down the body of the text and 
find one word, and once you've got it, you've got it, please stand up. Very good. Okay. So now, uh, what I'm going to do is, we have another book. And I am going to, if I may, may I hand you this book, and may I ask you to go through, turn any page you want, please, Silently select a word for today's purposes, the longest word, the most letters, the most syllables. Don't tell us what it is. If you don't like the page you're on, go to another. Once you've got your word, please I'll have you hand the book back and I'll have you stand up. We have got words and cards abounding, yes? And what we are going to do is this. To start us off, you're thinking of a word. Yes, you found the longest word, most letters, most syllables you could think of. And you're thinking of a word right now. Yes. Please don't tell us your word, but I'm going to ask you please to share out loud the first letter of your word. It is a H. An H. Now, an H in and of itself doesn't tell us a whole lot. It's not supposed to. The first time we see a patient, they come to our practice. We enter notes into our chart with the psyche valve, and that may be the letter H. And then they come for more appointments and we start to get more letters from them. Out of that book of approximately 160,000 words, you selected one word. And the unconscious mind goes to a word that has meaning because I'm getting the impression as you're spelling that word, in your mind's eye, that is the impression that I have gotten. And as you're concentrating on the word, it reminds us that when patients present to us suffering from depressive disorder, they may start to have tears. And in fact, what they may need at that moment, would you please tell us the word you were thinking of? Indeed. <laughs> is that selected a word from this book. Now, you select a word tonight. I'm going to let you stay seated for a moment. I'm going to ask you all to turn toward the back wall, okay? And I'm going to ask you to turn toward the back wall, not because you've done anything wrong, but I'm going to ask you to turn toward the back wall only because I don't want you to be giving me any cues, any subtle cues. I am going to state three words. There are three of you, yes? Would you please hold up your hands? Very good. Because I'm getting the perspective of the words presence, throne, and mourning. If I mentioned your word, would you please turn around and sit back down to a thunderous round of applause? you who has selected a card, would you all please turn and face the back wall so I can't read any subtle cues from your eyes or faces. I am getting the impression of four cards. I'm getting the impression of a three of clubs, a five of diamonds, an eight of spades, and a queen of hearts. If I mentioned your card, would you please turn around and take your seat for a round of thunders and applause. Thank you. We have one word. You thought of a word, am I right? I want you please to concentrate on it. I don't want you to say anything to me. And you have a card that no one has seen, not even yourself. You're thinking of a word I'm getting an impression right now as you're spelling it over and over in your mind's eye. Wow. The last letter is an E. If you're spelling it over and over, correct? Yes, it is. And, sorry, and what's happening is, in the beginning, as you were spelling it, I wasn't hearing any sound. 
because the word you were thinking of, would you please tell everyone the word that you nearly selected at random? Silence. Silence indeed. <laughs> One card, one playing card, it's there on the desk. And in fact, you haven't even seen what the card is, am I right? You selected it at random from a shuffled deck. In a moment, I am going to attempt to pick up what that card is. Would you please put your hand over it, over the top? That's good. So I cannot see the back of it. I don't want any of you to think I'm reading the back. I am not. Getting an impression. Would you please, in a moment, pick up the card and show us the card that you selected at random from a shuffle deck of cards? What is that card? Would you please hold it up? What is that? <laughs> the King of Hearts. Thank you all very 